How's it going guys, Archer Black C here with another Bakugan Battle Planet video for you guys, but today it's something different and I have to apologize, I have been very sick for the past couple of days, that's why there haven't been many videos, I'm still sick but I did feel bad about not giving, guy, uh, not giving you guys content for the past couple of days, so I tried to find the easiest thing for me to do, apologize if I cough or sniffle or whatever, sorry I got a really gnarly cold going on right now, so... I thought I would uh, bring you guys some information if you don't know about it. Uh, Fang Shaman did a video on this already, so go check his video out. Uh, I'll try to put a video in the description or something. Uh, but this is a look at Bakugan Battle Planet, the card game, on Tabletop Simulator. Uh, if you don't know what Tabletop Simulator is, it's basically what the name implies. It is a uh, simulation uh, for tabletop games. It's on Steam. It runs at about $20 regularly, but on the Steam sale, you can get it for like $3, so it's very affordable. And uh, what you do is you download these mod packs to it to um, basically play different, whatever you want. Um, you can play different kinds of TCGs, you can play any kind of board games. A lot of people play like D&D &D on this, it's really cool for that. If you're into it, check it out. If You, <laughs> you probably already know about it, but uh, for those of you who are new to these kind of games and stuff, which I know a lot of us are, um, this is a cool resource for you. And somebody made a Bakugan mod for it. So uh, we're going to look at that. This is kind of uh, what you can do, but I'm going to back up a little bit and show off what you can do. So let's go to Steam. Um, this is the Steam store. You know how this works. Uh, but to find it, you just type in tabletop. Tabletop. Oh, well, that should probably still do it. No, of course not. Can't still bell. T A B L E top. And there it is tabletop simulator. Uh oh. What happened? Table, top. Guess not. Table, top. One word. There it is. Tabletop stimulator. One word. <clears throat> and this brings you to their page. And you will download the game here. So, um, $20 again. It's not that big of a download, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's on here. But anyway, this is where you go to download the game. Uh, when you have gotten the game and you want to get the Bakugan mod, what you do is go to the community hub over here on Steam and go to the workshop. The workshop is where you find like mods and stuff for all the Steam games if you didn't know. Uh, but for Tabletop Simulator, that's where everything is. So these are like the top ones right now, things you can do, Imperial Assault, uh, board game stuff. Uh, but go to the search bar, type in Bakugan, search, and this one will come up right here. So the Bakugan Battle Planet. Uh, it's made by Chester the Cheetahs, and uh, the, this mod actually uses this mod by Just Raisins uh, to make the figures actually open. So this is where you go, and if you have Tabletop downloaded, you hit subscribe, and then that will put it into your game, and usually you have to restart it for it to actually show up in your, uh, in your game. So um, that's how you get it. So let's go take a look at it. So again, this is where we were. Uh, this is just a room, but let's go ahead and go to the main menu. And I'll show you how to set it up. <clears throat> so, uh, main menu here. Uh, to just kind of go into the game to play, you can hit create. Uh, just do single player to mess around. And these are all the ones that you've downloaded and games that kind of come with it. So, uh, I learned how to play Dragon Ball Super on here. Uh, the, po the Pokemon 2016 board game. Not 2016. Pfft, I don't know why I call it. That's just what it's called. But the Pokemon board game that people play sometimes. I found that. We played that. But... Uh, let's see, so the Bakugan Battle Planet one, if you don't know, you can just go to Workshop and this is everything you've downloaded. Uh, so here's the last one right here. Load it up. And this is what comes available to you. So it gives you a cool little table with the matrix on it. And these are the pieces. So uh, they give you the Bakugan. These are saved in states. So uh, if I want to use a Chaos Bakugan, I just hit 1 and 2. One is ball form, two is open form. And you notice that it's basically just kind of like a little Nilius. Um, that is just what they are for now. I know the guy is working on getting models for when they open to actually open up into shapes relative to the actual Bakugan. But um, <clears throat> this is what we have to work with now. But the cool part is, is that they do open on the core. So if I take this and drop it on a core, it opens and you can use it just as you would you know normal so if I put it in this form get a better look at it take it here drop it open boom usable Bakugan all right um, so you're probably asking wondering how am I gonna roll it over there well yes you can 
click and drag and like roll things like that, but that gets a little out of control sometimes. Let's see if I can even get it over there. Yeah, so see, it's not very accurate. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, off the side. All right, anyway. So for that reason, they have this little tool called Flick. So over here, uh, I don't know if my face is covering it up. It probably is, but uh, if you hit F5, it brings you to the Flick tool. And what it does is if you click and drag, it gives you like, you know, like in like uh, pool games or billiards games on your phone or whatever, same thing. You pull back for a certain amount of speed and let go and it will roll uh, the Bakugan. So, uh, I mean, it's only one core here, but oop, oop, oop. I don't want to do that. Oop, oop, there we go. Let's, uh, let's make a little matrix here so we have something to roll on to. All right, uh, grab a Bakugan here. Um, do that. All right, let's see. So, grab, flick, and we stand. There we go. So, you see the physics are relatively decent. The cores are, you know, a little bit off the table like they would be, you know, in real life. And uh, so that's how the Bakugan stuff works. Uh, what's nice is that he does have a starter set, the starter sets here. Uh, so if you right click on these, hit search, it shows you everything that they get. So he has uh, all the cards scanned in. Most of the cards have a decent, uh, scan for them um, I think a lot of them come from like uh, the brawler cafe or whatever they have a good uh, sheet with all the lists um, but uh, this actually gives you a little packet with all the things in it I don't know my ebb is out to the side but anyway uh, so those are the starter packs available to you if you want to use them um, these are all of the different cards for each faction so if I right click and hit search uh, it gives me all of the Ventus cards with, uh, well, that is that. Uh, all the flip cards, though, are off to the side over here. They're sideways because flip cards search, and these are all the different flip cards. Um, but that's for you to use to deck build. So, like, how you would do that, or the way I do it on tabletop, is I just kind of get my list out here. Say I want to play Hyper Fangzor. It comes out. It's flipped over. If you hit F while you're hovering over it, it will flip it over, and you can get a good look at it. Also, if you hold Alt, while you're over a card, it will give you a bigger view at it. So if I'm going through here, this is how it would normally show it to me. If I hold Alt, now I have a big look at the cards. So, um, say I want three Hyper Fangs on this deck, I can Control C, and then Control V, 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 as many as I want, you know? So you can uh, do this a lot quicker uh, and get your decks built faster. So uh, that is how you would do that. So. Uh, let's say I had a deck, so we have a deck of three Hyper Fangzor. You take them and you kind of hold them on top of each other. You can highlight them and then kind of jiggle your mouse a little bit, drop it, and normally that sets them up in a deck. There we go. See, uh, now it says I have a three card deck here. That's my deck. Say I had my six cores here. We'll just do three cores, why not? And then three Bakugan here. So again, this if this was all Ventus or whatever, Control C, Control V. And it copies them or whatever uh, that's what we need so that uh, and I think that's whatever any anyway that's all the stuff we're going to use what you can do is go to objects components and tools and they have these little bags for you to use so you can bring them out uh, get rid of this and this is where you can store all your stuff and save it for later so um, I'm gonna crumple all my stuff together and drop it in the bag and now if I search this bag you see I have my deck it's stacked up um, and uh, my cores and my Bakugan all in here okay so uh, that is there for me to use now I can right click it save it Oop. right click it save object uh, it will save you name it save it and you can save it to the saved objects area here so I already made a deck here uh, these are my old Dragon Ball decks don't even look at them please don't and here are my Pokemon that I just like to throw out on the table all the time you know it's just random stuff and you can go find these on mods and stuff like that all right so you can you can have a lot of fun with this game uh, it's just kind of like a little sandbox for you to do whatever you want but anyway so that's how that works um, so uh, say if you wanted to use uh, one of the matrix map we sent you like I had earlier uh, you can go to objects tables um, they happen to fit on this custom square thing here and it'll say what uh, image you want to use so if I go here go to my files uh, I think it's right here yeah here that 
um, local because it's coming from my computer import uh, and it should there you go so now you get to play Bakugan on a matrix mat it doesn't fit these necessarily um, but you know it, it's cool to have a nice little background while you're playing the game um, so anyway that is Bakugan Battle Planet on Tabletop Simulator uh, I hope this seems helpful to you guys a lot of you are having trouble getting the cards or you want to test things um, the little flick mechanic actually works kind of decent, you know. Uh, it, it, you know, it at least gives you an opportunity to play the game and test some decks out. Okay, um, let's, get, let's get rid of Agron here. He doesn't need to be here. He's not a Bakugan. Why can't I click him? All right, whatever. He's just gonna stay there. Anyway, uh, again, I hope this is helpful to you guys. Maybe it's something that you didn't know existed. Again, Fang Shaman, I think, did this first. So go check out his video. Um, I just wanted to bring it to you guys, and again, this is about all I could handle right now. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, leave any questions down in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll do, like, subscriber games or something. Maybe I can play you guys on this. I don't know if that's a thing. If you think that's a good idea, uh, put it down in the comments if you like that idea. And maybe we can uh, do something like that one day. Maybe a subscriber tournament. I don't know. We'll see. But, anyway, uh, I'll... Uh, Talk to you guys later. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, just uh, pray that I am not sick any longer than I am because I hate it. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.